It's become typical to respond to an opioid-related overdose on every shift in Hennepin County. The White Earth Reservation saw four heroin overdoses in 12 hours. The epidemic is not slowing down. Do you think it'd be called an epidemic if it weren't affecting every shape, every size, every person, every age? I never thought my son would have been spending, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars a day on heroin. And that's just, that's like a bad movie, but you couldn't turn it off. You're going to make mistakes. Everyone does. So it doesn't mean that you're over. Life is not over. One of the reasons I want to get sober are for those people out there who think that it's impossible. Because if I can do it, anybody can do it. You just watched the trailer of Change the Outcome. In a moment, we'll tell you where you can see a free community screening of this film. But first, we talked with a local mom, Colleen Ronnie, whose son Lucas died of an opiate overdose, and why she founded Change the Outcome program to educate young people. You know, Change the Outcome is a nonprofit that I started uh, about five years ago. And it was, I did it in an effort to try and bring some awareness and understanding to an issue that was starting to impact a lot of people. Um, we lost our son, Lucas. Luke was 20 years old. Um, he died six years ago. And it was wonderful, the outpouring that we got from our community but I was frustrated also by it because so many people revealed in cards and letters that they were also being impacted by the opioid epidemic. And nobody in my community was talking about it. And I, I just, you know, we can't solve things. We can't work on issues. We can't make progress on things if we're not willing to discuss them. And a lot of people you know, we just don't know some really simple things. I look back on how naive I was, both my husband and I, about something as simple as Luke having his wisdom teeth removed. And that is really where things started with our family. Um, people are being impacted, young people, families, parents, grandparents. And so I just thought, you know, let's have this conversation. Let's start talking about it in an honest way. That, that removes the shame and the judgment that often comes with a conversation related to addiction or substance use. Um, let's help people, you know, we can, we can do this, but we have, to, we have to talk about it in order to do that.